Hi everybody, today I will show you how to host a website on GitHub pages. So let's just begin. Alright, so to host a website on the GitHub, first of all, you have to create the account on the GitHub. So I have already account on the GitHub. So I don't need to create the account again, but the process of creating the account is really simple. So how can we host the website on the GitHub pages? That is really easy. First of all, you have to know that you can only upload the static website on the GitHub. Alright. So first of all, let me show you the website that we are going to host on the GitHub. So the website is really simple. All right. So this is the code of our website. This is really a basic website here. So let's click on the open with live server. And now you can see this. We have this hello there. And if you want to navigate to the about us, I just click here and this would get us back to the home page. So this is the website that we're going to host on our GitHub. Alright, so let's go back to our GitHub. So from here, we have to click on the new. Okay, so this would actually create a new repository. And you can also click on your profile. And from here, you can go to your repositories. And from here, let's just click on the new. And this would actually create a new repository. Okay, so if you want to host a website on the GitHub pages, so you have to write down the username of your GitHub account. So in my case, this is actually Okay, then you have to write down dot github dot io. So now we will be able to host our website on this link. Okay, so you have to make sure that whenever you want to host a website on the GitHub, you have to use your username. So that could be anything, but you have to remember that. All right, so now let's click on the create repository. And we have to upload the file from our computer. Click on upload an existing file. All right. So now you can see this. We have these two files of our basic project. So we have to select this and we can simply drag this here. That's it. And click on the commit changes. All right. So we have uploaded our file here. So now what you need to do, you have to click on the settings. And in the settings, you have to click on the pages. So what you can do here in the pages, you can see this we have this branch. So you have to select the master or the main branch. The default value of the branch is actually none. So you have to change the value to the master or the main, whatever may be. All right. So after that, what you can do, you can skip the custom domain here because we want to upload our website on the main domain. Okay, so that this is our main domain of our website. So let's just copy this and paste the value here. Hit the enter. Now you can see this. We have our website. Hello there. And if I just click here, you can see this. We are on the about me page. So if I just want to go back, I will simply click here. All right. So this is how you can upload a website on the GitHub pages. Okay, so you can see one thing here that we have this extension of dot html on both of the pages so this is the main file index.html and if i just click here now you can see this we have this about dot html so how can we remove this extension that is really easy what you need to do from here you have to remove dot html here okay and from the about us we have to remove this index.html because this is the main page of the directory so we don't have to add anything here all right now let's just go back to our github let's just go back to the code of our website and from here i will simply drag the files again so these are actually the updated files all right so now let's click on the commit changes all right so after uploading the file let's just click on the settings and click on the pages here Now let's just click on the visit side. Now let's just click here. Now you will be able to see we don't see any .html extension. And if I just go back, we don't see any index.html on the main page. So this may take few minutes to update after uploading the files. Or even if you don't see the changes after few minutes, what you can do is you have to clear the cache of your browser, then it will work fine. All right, so this is how we can delete dot html extension and if you want to upload the other pages 
or the other repositories what you can do let's just go back to our github repository and from here let's just click on the repositories and i actually want to add the portfolio page so let's click here and click on the settings click on the pages here now you can see that our portfolio repository is actually uploaded on our slash portfolio so actually i have done a mistake in the spelling of the portfolio but it's okay so let's click on the visit side now you will be able to see we have deployed the portfolio on our main url slash portfolio so this is how you can add the multiple pages to your hosting on the github pages and this is how it works and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel